With a factory and a factory owner that I deeply respect, he was he is amazing. Uh, he did know that I spoke Mandarin. And we had a great relationship. We were going through one of the hardest times in my company's history. Uh, we were going through a product recall. We had a quality problem on one of our products. And it was going to cost our company a lot of money. It had the potential to put us out of business. And as we're going through this process, I'm remembering a very large US retailer. I'm not going to name names. They went through a recall three years prior to this. This huge organization, they've got contracts locked up. They're tighter than two coats of paint with the factory that they're dealing with directly. Had nothing to do with us. But they're going through this recall. They've got the contracts. The contracts say factory's 100% responsible for any kind of quality control problem. Chinese factory says, guess what, guys? We have no legal entity in the US. If you want the money, you can sue us, but you're not going to get anywhere because we don't have any legal presence there. So they flew their entire team over to China and sued them in China. All this huge amount of expense to get the factory up to what they had signed the contract for. And they got halfway through their lawsuit in China and realized that this factory is 51% government owned. So who are the Chinese courts going to side with? The factory, obviously. So I've got this in the back of my head as I'm going through the same process. And I'm going, oh my god. I don't have a contract even signed with these guys. I've gone straight Chinese business style on our entire deal. I've, I've built the relationship up. I've gone and played golf and I've drank Baijiu with the big boss and done all this stuff to build a relationship with this guy. We don't have a contract. And I'm going, oh my God. So I went in and I talked to him and I said, look, you guys passed every quality control test that we had for you. You passed every one of our inspections, but we still Fail. and we've got a bad quality product out there, we, we've got a huge amount of expense out there. And it, he said, I understand, and part of that was our fault too. So I said, let's do 50-50. We're both at fault here. And it was a huge amount of negotiation over six months. I'm making this sound a lot easier than it was. It was very difficult. Uh, but he agreed to it, ultimately. And we wound up splitting everything right down the middle. He gave us a lot of money right up front because we had a huge amount of expense already going out. And problem solved. And our relationship with that guy and that factory, our business has never been better. Business with our customers has never been better because we handled everything the right way. I got pressured by my boss at the time to get a contract signed with him. And I said, no, we just did this all on handshakes. I'm not, you don't need a contract. This guy's legit. And the reason that I knew that was because I spoke the language. I was able to speak directly with them. I was able to build that relationship. So the language learning and the experience that you get internationally is invaluable in 